Mm. Java it is life. What is up, everybody? It is your boy Ismail Rosado, aka Sneaker Freaker, on both Instagram and Twitter. And I am back. Back with uh, two pickups for you guys. You see the lockers? That can mean one thing Buffalo Exchange pickups. From now on, whenever you see the locker backdrop, it's a Buffalo Exchange pickup. Before I get into that pickup, though, let me divulge into my first pickup of the day, which happens to be um, Sneak Freaker Magazine. And this, truthfully, this is where I got my name from. But it goes way back, way, way back. Back in like 2008 ish, around there. And um, just a little story. I was on a site called Sneaker Play, which was pretty much an invite only forum. And um, man, it, it took me about a month and a half to get into that website. But once I finally got in, the rule was you can pick one name and one name only because back then you couldn't alter your name, you couldn't change it, um, and you had to get invited. So that took a month and a half. Once I got the email that I was confirmed to get in, I thought of a name. So I'm looking over and I see Sneaker Freaker Magazine and I see um, Eminem playing, and then the video to show his um, the E backwards. And um, I just put two and two together, man. I just Sneaker Freaker and I put the threes against E's and that's pretty much what it is but it gets more in, in depth um, my birthday is November 22nd so if you think about it 11 plus 22 equals 33 that's just something that I thought of later on anywho this is a pretty cool magazine um, issue number 38 mind you when I got into Sneaker Freaker magazine it was issue number 8 or 9 with the Air Max uh, 1 on the cover of course I had to get it because my love is Nike SB. Very, very cool stuff in here. Very, very cool stuff. Shouts out to Nate W, by the way, for making the article. Very, very historical. Just a lot of archive stuff and everything else. Glad I got this right here. Now, let's move on to the main entree. <laughs> what the Buffalo Exchange had this time If you follow my Instagram or Twitter You know what I picked up But for those who don't follow Here they are Boca Juniors The remastered version for 2017 Didn't these just come out? Like Yeah, April these came out, right? We're the end of May going to June That's crazy Best part is These are dead stock as well uh, no box, but nonetheless, they came with the extra set of boat laces as well. So, I mean, overall, it's still clean either lace swap, but there is a proof right there. $24 for a pair of SBs that they were on my list, but then again, when I saw the flat tongue and the whole I shot the wear type of, um, you know, format, you could say, I uh, was waiting for the right price. And, um, man, this is the right price right here. 24 bucks for a desktop pair of Bocas. Can't beat that. Anywho, the original pair was uh, part of the Pink Box series. And the inspiration behind that was an Argentinian team, an Argentinian soccer team called the Boca Juniors, where pretty much the whole uniform is all constructed of blue with a uh, yellow stripe going down like so. So there we have it. That's the inspiration behind these right here. Or for the original, I should say. And those also dropped in April of 2005, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, truthfully, I was never a fan of that um, particular uh, sneaker. I will be completely honest. I, I was never really a fan of uh, this colorway right here because it's really hard to pull off or whatever. But once I heard that these were retroing, um, I had my eyes on them. And um, what can I say, man? Uh, I was waiting for the right price, and the right price came to me thanks to Buffalo Exchange. Let's get into a brief review. First off, let's take another sip of this lovely beverage known as Java. Big old boys. Pause. <laughs> first things first, well, the one thing you see is that iconic gum outsole with that blue file line hit in the middle. Working way up. You got that white midsole with that white stitching. And then your upper is pretty much made of, pretty, it's pretty much made of that one colorway, that varsity royal. And um, it's broken up into uh, two different materials. You have uh, a really nice suede overlay going throughout your toe box, working towards, towards the eye stays, eye stays up top, working towards your heel counter right there. And then on your side panel, sorry, 
move it out of the way. Your side panel and your upper ankle lining and just below the heel tab, we got that Rossi Royal but in tumbled leather. And then you got the same blue stitched in right there. Then you have that bolt swoosh right there and a different kind of leather, more smoother right there. Also on your heel tab as well. Um, you have a blue insole with that yellow Nike SB Zoom Air hit right there. Mesh, skinny ankle padding right there. And a felt like material behind your tongue right there. Speaking of tongue, you have that skinny tongue right there. And then you have that yellow Nike SB tag, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Stitch Net Royal Blue. And more importantly also, you got that new technology, which is shit, but it is what it is. That new technology right there, which is gonna be on your non-quick strike models. Keep that in mind. With the non-quick strike with non-quick strikes, you're gonna have that that elastic tongue strap right there, you're gonna have that insole right there. But for your traditional quick strikes, your TRD quick strikes, whatever, you're gonna have the original format of Nike SB as you want to see what they were. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lace up both of these shoes right here with uh, yellow and blue laces and I'm gonna do an off foot shot and an outro. All right, so stay tuned for that and I'll talk to y'all very soon. Quick look at the bokas with the yellow laces followed by the uh, blue laces. Either way you can't go wrong. I mean they both look good in my opinion. And of course you have that yellow that them out still as well. Very clean overall man. Very very clean overall. Just that we had Boca Juniors on foot, courtesy of Buffalo Change. So we have uh, today's pickup courtesy of uh, Buffalo Exchange, which are the, sorry about that, Boca Juniors, the visitor version on foot. So, so clean on foot, by the way. And honestly, I didn't get into the material. The suede is very nice, actually. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's very nice. I don't know if, if it's because it's a sample pair or what, but nonetheless, it is a very, you know, they're trying. But nonetheless, Bokas, very clean, 24 bucks, dead stock, gum bottoms, you can't go wrong with that. Not to mention I got my little cool sneaker figure magazine as well. So with that being said, I'm going to talk to y'all on the next episode, which will be up tomorrow, if not next week. Alright, it's a boy Sneaker Freaker signing off. Peace.